<laughs> All right, let's go over here. We're going to do the toenails first. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Dad always kind of hangs out. You happy with that, right? You're always here. You're in and out, what, 15 minutes maybe? Oh, yeah. 20 minutes? Well, 20 minutes or so. He walks in and he goes, what'd you say? <laughs> I, won't, I won't put it on the air what I say <laughs> about your hair. He said, what the heck? What did you do to your hair, Dee Dee? You don't like it? Like my granddaughter, every time I see her, different color hair. Well, you've been coming here how many years? No, several now. And this is the first time you've seen different color hair. Well, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> it might change though. Someone out there said you should do turquoise. <laughs> that's my favorite. Oh shoot! You gotta do comfy tone. Oh gosh. And we only started recently having to do the comfy cone the last, yep. what, three times? She's gotten pretty feisty, huh? Well, she's getting older, and I think that's part of the problem. Okay. Okay, great. All right. Do you guys see okay? Okay. Hold still. You're fine. Let me look. You're fine. Yeah, let me have it. Man, them paws are hairy. Okay, okay, stay there. Oh, hey, 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 wait a minute. Wait a minute. You want to let her stand up? We can do that route. Stand up there. What's the matter with you today? Hmm? Daddy, this is not my favorite thing. This is not my favorite well, thing. It didn't used to bother her at all. And that did when somebody else did them, but when you did them, it didn't seem to bother her. Yeah, and it's been me this whole time. I think it's just like you said, age. So we have gotten you involved because her knees, remember? We didn't want I didn't want to bring her knee up. How's her knees at home after all this time? Doing good. She don't jump around a lot though, does she? Not like she used to. Yeah. No. Okay, hold on. She's not hurting you. Well, I'm back to not hurting you. Look how hairy they are. She just runs around on carpet so she don't get to wear it off. I don't notice it. Okay, she's stays out of the kitchen though. The kitchen's got vinyl on it. Really? So she's slipping slide probably there more, huh? She don't she don't bother it there. You can sit down now, Missy. Has it been that long? A month? A little over. Maybe a month and a half? Stop. You're okay. You can help. I got it. Okay. Relax. Okay. Oh, she's got some hair on her. We're almost done. Yeah, roll, roll, roll. See if you guys can get some facial hair. What? Smash that like button. Okay, let me see here. See if you guys see what she's doing over here, because I can't. Okay, here we go. Hey. Missy. You're all right. You're a mess, girl. Stay there. Let me do some de shedding. Sit down. Stay there, you're fine. Did you guys get to see anything? I'm gonna have to go back and look myself. I'm gonna have to go look at her. 
Oh. See there, aren't you a bad girl? Yeah. She does not like that nail trimming. But you know what? She wasn't always like that, you know what I mean? Yeah, the only girl that we had trouble with was that one that was helping you that time at uh, Russell Oh, yeah, yeah. And I don't know whether it's because she smoked, because as soon as we walked up her, Missy didn't like her. And, uh, I, I don't mean, think that's just... what it was at all, man. I don't know. Huh. But she didn't like her doing it at all. Did she ever hit the vein? I don't think so. Oh, does that feel good? Huh? You like that? See, Dee Dee's not going to hurt you. This dog going to be bald as much hair as she loses. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness, look at this. She's going to be eight years old in March. Really? Time is flying. Here, I should have just piled it up so we could see how much we got afterwards. Light and easy here, not like digging at the. Don't dig on it. Now this is straight to dead hair here. Ooh. Ooh. How do you like that? Do you like it? This is close to the massage you're going to get, girl. <laughs> Look at all that. And we're not done. I know there's more. You want to lay down? You're going to lay down? Look at that lip. You got lip, lip tucked under? I call it her Elvis lip. Really? Do you have a name for it? She'll, every once in a while that lip will get hung up. So we named it the Elvis lip. <laughs> Ooh, you like that? She's scratching her back. Ooh. Look at all that hair. Look at this. Okay, okay, okay. Ooh. Daddy, Daddy don't do that as often as he should at home, does he? Just like you, I get a ton of hair. Mm -hmm. She ought to be bald. Well, that turn of weather is probably helping it, too. Yeah. I can't believe it's going to be 95, and then today, this afternoon, it's going to be 50. Mm -hmm. This is Texas right here. There was no fall this year, right? Just went Not straight to winter. Year. 95 to winter. She's been over at Faye's house for a week. Oh, really? Because you've been out? Yeah. I'm really sorry to hear that. Again, huh? Oh, yeah. But Faye spoils her. She gets chicken and rice. Does and she? That. Her dog and this dog love the chicken and rice. Look 
got his hair. Okay, let's go to the back. We'll go back. Let's do this. Do this. Up. You want the camera? Yeah, bring it. You gonna be my cameraman? <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna take these gloves off. You're good. I'll leave them over here. What are you guys up to out there? I got you on my cell phone. I got 108 watchers and 38 likes. If you are enjoying the video and you're happy we came on for you, smash that like button. Let me know you're happy. And do you, who has a Chihuahua out there? Who else has a Chihuahua? Chihuahua mix, small dog, small shedding dog. Who else out there has a Chihuahua, huh? Do you drive out there to that other state? Yeah. Wow. Well, so how long did it take? Oh, it's just down in Houston. Oh, I M thought you said it was in Michigan or something. Uh... No, MD Anderson. Oh, I see. Oh, oh. Yeah. Yeah, I got back yesterday. Uh, Thursday, got back Tuesday night late. Did you, did you stay right there by the, by the, in the hospital, or did you get a hotel, or how did you I got do cousins it? that live down there, okay. and they got a uh, little, it's kind of a, well, I think it used to be apartments, and somebody bought it and turned it into a deal. the hospital? Yeah, kind of like that. Okay. They, I mean, they rent to anybody that wants to rent, oh, but it's like fifty dollars a day, oh, okay. and it's a little efficiency apartment. Okay. What it is. It's got two cool. beds in it. They furnish everything. So life is easy to get in and out right next to that yeah, hospital. Yeah, it's only about eight minutes from yeah. the hospital. Oh, that's not bad. So they keep it full. I bet they do. Fifty dollars a night. I thought that it, I told my daughter, I said that's liable to be a piece of junk, but. And I told her, I said, you really got to watch where you get down there, too. I said, they got some bad neighborhoods down there. Well, yeah. it was in a good neighborhood, and it was really nice. It was all fenced in. I thought I killed my dog the other day. Really? Yeah, I was eating grapes, and evidently I dropped one and made her sick. So I eat. I mean, I googled it. You're not, not supposed, supposed to, to let grapes. dogs have grapes. She ate. She um. She got it before you could get it, or yeah. you? you didn't I didn't even really know she got it. Right. And what? So you know, I can't say I've never had a grape. But my dog eat a grape, but I never seen where it did anything to him. Well, they say it has something in it yep, that yep. really bothers me. Right. So what was uh, what she start doing? Just laying there looking at me like, you know, pitiful like, and she wouldn't, I'd give her a treat, she wouldn't eat a treat. Really? So I grabbed her but up. But no vomiting? No, no vomiting. She, I mean, she coughed a lot, but she never did vomit. But she coughed anyway. 
Yeah. Does she? A, a little, not like she used to. Not okay. But anyway, I went in there and got a, a syringe and got some uh, Pepto in it and gave it to her. And about two hours, three hours later, she kind of pepped up and started running around again. Did you notice right away? You were like, oh, she something's up with her. Yeah. Yeah. Cause we hang out with our dogs all day. Oh yeah. She. Yeah. And if I drop something, she goes after it. But she wasn't in my lap, and I didn't know I dropped it on the floor. I guess right. I dropped it when I was walking in there. Because I saw her kind of, you know, working her mouth a little bit, so I figured, uh-oh. Uh-oh. I can't believe she ate it. Like, my dog will pick up a grape and kind of go, eh, you know, like, the skin If I'm eating it, she'll eat it. Wow, she just straight ate it. <laughs> One more time for me. She don't shake that much. I'm gonna get this air cleaner and stuff. Gonna clean your air real fast. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I guess dog's ears like ours. You, we may not be out in the dirt and playing and everything, but we still get crud in our ears. Uh, yeah, something can just be developing in there. Do you mind if I flush your ears? No. Well, that one's really dirty. Just get ahead of this little thing that's happening. Now she'll shake. All right, we're getting loud. Maybe I should push mute. Are you guys still out there hanging out? Okay, it's going to get loud. Maybe I'll push mute here.
I'll bring this over here. This is your tail, Roger. This is your tail. Oh, I don't think you cut the hair on the front feet. Really? Yeah, I better go back to that. Maybe I didn't. Are you guys okay? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna do that. <laughs> Don't get mad at me now, girl. Don't get mad at me. Don't get mad here. Good girl. You see this one? Don't get upset. Don't. Don't get upset. Well, I'm all right usually with that, but... You never know. When that nail clipping starts, so it gets me. Well, she almost got you that one time, didn't she? Or oh, did she get you? She got me before, time or two. Getting all gray. Yep, all that's right here. Huh? Now you're going to sit down and be a good dog, aren't you? Yeah. You're all happy now. Just a little bit. Okay, ready, Dad? Come here. There you go. Come on. We're good to go. Say, see you later. All right. Are you happy? Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, you guys, I'll be right back with you. Smash that like button for me, will ya? There's 105, 108 out there. What are you guys doing today, man? Isn't it Friday? Are you guys at work? All right, give me a second. I'll let you look at some tools and stuff. Okay, hold on a second. I have just got to tell you, I, I brought that man to tears just now in a prayer for him. And then he got me crying. <laughs> uh, his family is going through something right now. And um, you just never know when the last moment you might have with someone you love. 
And uh, he just mentioned, you know, he mentioned a little bit having to go to Houston, and that's a medical center. That doesn't bring it to light. Uh, but some serious stuff's happening. And I just prayed for, I said, do you want me to pray for you? You want to pray about it? He said, yes. He said, that. He said actually, that would be nice. <laughs> and, you know, he could not, Jerry could not look at me leaving. He was crying. Um, so those of you guys that uh, pray, please put him in your powerful prayers today, Jerry and his family. You can say it like that. Uh, Jerry's been a client for quite some time. Let me see here. Jerry, Jerry, Jerry. Let's look at his file here. Whew. So Jerry's uh, family's going through something right now. They've actually been battling it for quite a while, and it, it came back. I've known Jerry since before the salon. Can you guys hear me okay? I've known Jerry since before the salon. Ooh, we got done quick, too. Alexandria, what's up? He, did you hear me? I, he's crying. <laughs> I've never seen Jerry cry ever. He's a guy that goes hunting, shooting. Maybe not hunting, but shooting. He goes shooting. We love you, Jerry. I love you. So I met Jerry doing toenail trims and those outdoor nail trims for years. And then I decided to stop doing it. And I was doing it for over 10 years. So God knows how long I've known Jerry. But he started physically coming into my salon in 2014. And I've been doing his toenails. And, oh, no, 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 no. I started, I started to file. Check this out. So I started doing his dog's toenails, not started because, I mean, at some point I decided if I see these people often, I need to write, to write it down because then he wanted to come to the salon and that kind of helped me figure out, you know, how often you're getting your nails done. But I knew him before 2014, but yeah, since 2014, he's been coming to the salon. So that's a long time. That's a long time. Thank you so much, members. I see you, Grace. Alexandria, that green name means you're a member. You're a paying member on YouTube. That means you're a channel member that's supporting us on YouTube by telling YouTube, I am a member of this channel. I believe in what she's doing. I love what she's doing. I love watching. I'm a fan. And so 2014, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and we're almost into 20. And did he say that dog is just about to turn, Missy just about to turn nine? That's like just shy of nine. <laughs> Wow! So cool. So Jerry gave me a tip, too. That was so nice. And even, it doesn't matter what the tip is. You leave your groomer a dollar tip, 50 cents, $2, $10, $100. You leave a tip, tip is a tip. Tip is money that's extra telling you you did a better job than most or you did something extra for me. Tip your groomers. Tip people who go above and beyond what their call of duty is, in my opinion. And I say that because that, I know some people didn't like it. I was like, why would you, what? That Atmos guy, he came and he spent three hours educating me and David about leaking gas. And he did not have to do that. Do you know I gave him $50? Yeah, he gets paid to do his job, but it's hot. It's, you're sweating. You're doing this. And you spend an extra two hours. He probably needed to be there for some of that time. But he spent more time sweating he was sweating. There was, no, there was no electricity in this house. I mean, it was just hot. And he was explaining to us how, and other things, he started pointing out the furnace, the air filter, the thing, this, this, the water heater. The, and I was like, you know, I'm tipping you. I'm going to tip you. And I said, and, he, and you know what? He almost cried. He wouldn't, he wouldn't take it. And I said, if you don't take it, I'm going to get your address. I'm going to mail it to you. So you can take it now, or you can... Give me your address. <laughs> All right. So check this out. I'm about to shave down another dog. So if you and this dog comes in um, about once or twice a year. Let me see here. I, I know you've seen him before. I'm going to do a back-to-back -back live. But I'm going to close this feed out. So you guys, uh, 103 of you, if you want to watch the next groom, you're going to have to go to the dashboard and go, oh, she's, still, she's live again. Go there. I want to close this out so that this, this has its own title, its own meaning, its own whatever. And so, Jerry, thanks a lot for letting me record. He said, no problem, Dee Dee. And he's just going through a lot, so make sure you pray for him. 
I love you guys. Thanks for watching. I had um, just had Betty Dyer start making those nozzle covers. I think for her, it's super affordable being that it's handmade in the United States. Each one is done by hand. So if you want to support her, go buy a nozzle cover on my website. A lot of the things that I have fabrically made are made from her. And she needs prayers too, you guys. Something's going on there. And I pray for you, Betty Dyer. I love you. So if you want to support what she does, I pay her. You know, what? how old are you, 78? I pay little old Betty Dyer by sending her money when she sends me things that she's sewn. I, I value people's time. So I, well, I give her commission. Like I give her a consignment, right? So I don't pay her like an employee or anything like that. But if she sends me something, I commission her out. And so that way, when you buy something, your money goes to Betty Dyer. And part of it pays for this and this and this, and then part of it goes to labor. And so when you buy something fabrically made, most of the masks, almost 90% of the masks now, because I'm kind of winding down on some other stock that Karen did, but and her purses and her coin purses are coming and her nozzle covers. And I mean, I just ha have not stopped putting her to work. <laughs> I'm like, can you make this? Yes, Dee, Dee I can. I'm on it. And so she, her, her and her family need your prayers too. So put that out there. I know many of you do too. Arrow slash, if you're out there, I've been thinking about you daily. Don't think for a minute that if you don't get a response from me, you're not important. Don't do that. Let me just tell you, there's more on my plate than uh, the average person. And I still don't know how I get it all done. With God's grace, I'm able to spend time. And so one day I might not spend the time doing certain things. Like, so if you ask me a lot of email questions, I had one, I'm going to read it to you tonight or maybe later tomorrow. I'm not sure. But I had one lady, she was like, Dee, I'm going to donate to you for even looking at my email. And I was like, wow, that's not that she, just to recognize that. Do you understand? Like, you're not going to get that time back. And if you hung out with me for the day, you'd be like, I can't keep up. Why are you not passed out at 7 p.m.? Because I am, I don't know that I can do this for, you know, Cynthia said, Didi, I used to go a mile a minute too, but it caught up with me. So we all may, you guys might relate to that too. You might have been going a mile a minute in your 30s and 40s and then boom, when something tragic happens, everything melts and then you have to start over. So I hope to God that doesn't happen to me and I prepare my mind for it if it does. All right. So we're up and down 104 to 82, up and down a lot of people. So make sure you smash that like button. I think that's awesome that we got 104 likes on the video. That's pretty pretty amazing. And I need to close this feed out before someone walks in. So let me kind of, I'm trying to click on this. Let me scroll back because I really need to do our powwow. <clears throat> uh, Jean, let me see here. Honeybee, if you're out there, I'm scanning for the, for the contributions here real fast so I can recognize them. You're so welcome, Cheryl. Okay, I got dry lips, man. Where are these Where are these donations at? What do we got here? Because remember, we got to do our song. Are you guys ready to do the song? Okay, okay. What is that thing doing here? What the heck is that? Okay, I'm going. I'm scrolling. I'm scrolling. I'm trying to find it. Okay, Melissa P. Okay, I know there was one before you, but let's do Melissa P. Because I'm seeing it now. So it's like, uh, could you guys help me remember? Duh. Thank you for the, thank you for the donation. Thanks for the donation. Thanks for the donation, Melissa P. To my favorite groomer. <laughs> okay, let's go to the next one. I cannot believe I'm trying to remember that. I need to get some more rhythm to it, man. Okay, there's one more. Deanne, was it Deanne? Let's see here. Deanne! Okay. Thanks for the donation. You guys do it with me, okay? Thanks for the donation. Thanks for the donation, Deanne, to my favorite groomer. <laughs> Woo! Okay, thanks for those donations. You guys are awesome. Thank you, Chastity, for recognizing that. Me and you gaming, are you actually awake? Get out of here, man. No way. No way, dude. <laughs> All right, you guys, we're going to go live here in a few more minutes. I'm going to do a Chihuahua Reverse 7 Blade Shave Down, which we've done his entire life. And I'll talk about that more so I can keep the video separate. Pick up your nozzle. Those are brand new on MyFavoriteGroomer.com. And what else did I use today? You guys list some tools I used. Did you guys recognize some tools I used? Two Zoom Grooms, two Furminators, which the styles have now changed, okay? But I'm not getting rid of mine because the new styles are not the same. So if you didn't get the original Furminator, you're never going to know how great it was. Two Furminators, 
right? Look, double, instead of just doing one, working this out, I worked this out and this out. Boom, two. Zoom groom. Brush, I used my large bristle brush at the end just to shape that hair a little bit, not digging. I used a little bit of clone. That dog has some skin issues. 40 blade, good job, me and you gaming, good job. I used a face mask, my smock, smock pants, eye gear, gloves. I forgot to put on my feet. I gotta go put on my feet covers. Um, feet covers, and what else, a towel. <laughs> Pet silk shampoo, pet silk conditioner, a blow dryer, a nozzle, a twirly hose. I mean, all this stuff that I use, I sell because I want you to have the stuff that I know is going to work for you and do the best job it can do. So pick those up at myfavoritegroomer.com. And don't forget, we use the Dog Up Mini. So get that at dogupstand.com. I know, Chastity. I, the other day I was like, I have turned into a surgeon. <laughs> right? Oh, gosh. Little did we know we should be protecting all these things. I'm still working on my uniform, too, so up and coming, things will change. You try to be better than you were yesterday, remember? Try to be better than you did yesterday. All right, love you guys. We'll see you on the next feed. Just walking in. Bye. <laughs>